So what will the lawsuit that Answers in Genesis is now a part of uh, actually going to uh, involve in regard to the state? Well, the lawsuits at its essence will be a very simple legal question. Can the state discriminate against Answers in Genesis or the Ark Encounter just because they're a religious entity and they, they want to avail themselves of all the freedoms they're given under federal and state law? The answer to that's very simply no. I mean, and that's what the courts will ultimately conclude. We believe that they'll say the law is very clear. It's very well established. You can't treat the religious group differently or at a disadvantage uh, in, in the way that you treat anyone else. And at its essence, that's what the legal action is all about. And, and we think we'll get a resolution in relatively short time on that. Make no mistake about it. This is a huge deal. We are eager to work with Ark Encounter officials to make this exciting tourism project happen, and we look forward to its completion. Uh, this is an application for a theme park. Uh, the law doesn't allow us to discriminate about the entertainment subject matter of theme parks as long as it's legal uh, and in good taste. I think it's clear that this is an economic development project, uh, that our laws don't allow us to discriminate as to the entertainment subject matter of a theme park. And as long as it is legal and, and meets all of our criteria, um, I think it's clearly constitutional and uh, we're gonna move ahead with it. The Herald Leader newspaper in Lexington quoted the governor of Kentucky, Steve Bashir, as saying, we expect any entity that accepts state incentives not to discriminate on any basis in hiring. While the leaders of Ark Encounter had previously agreed not to discriminate in hiring based on religion, they now refuse to make that commitment and it has become apparent that they do intend to use religious beliefs as a litmus test for hiring decisions. For that reason, we cannot proceed with the tourism incentive application for the Ark Encounter project. Supposedly, that's what the governor said. So can you respond to that? Well, there are a number of problems with the governor's latest position as, as he's just been quoted. First of all, that's not any part of the Tourism Development Act. The state law that, that controls the whole incentive program says nothing with regard to religion. It's, it's a facially neutral program, and that's what makes it on its face constitutional, it, meaning that you can't treat religious groups differently. You can't give them a new or different set of rules. They have to be treated, as we've said, just like everyone else. The other problem with that is that it violates the Religious Freedom Act that Kentucky passed through the General Assembly and uh, that most other states, now many other states have passed, which mirrors the federal law on point that, that basically says that religious organiza organizations get to maintain their identity. Um, they, they can't be given different sets of rules and, and under the First Amendment and all the statutes that apply here, the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act that we've discussed, um, you have these benefits, you have these freedoms under the law and it doesn't matter if the governor agrees with that or not, he can't take those freedoms away.